What's up, Panda? It's Peter Von Panda here. Hey, you know, I just bought a SanDisk iXpan flash drive for the iOS devices, something you can load movies and videos and back up your uh, iP iOS device to. And I loved it, loved it. So one of the things that I wanted to check out were some of the alternatives. And this Hutu, you know, is also an iOS device. As I I'm open it up here and show it to you, um, you know, one of the things that I, I thought of were interesting just FYI, you're gonna have to download the iPlug Mate app from the App Store if you're gonna use it too. Uh, is that, uh, you know, the SanDisk ones aren't cheap. And that's kind of my biggest gripe about it is that, you know, they do come in storage sizes of like 16, 32 gig, uh, 64 gig, 128, and 256, kind of the standard sizes. But they get expensive. And what I wanted to know is, is there an alternative out there that does the same thing, but isn't as brutally as expensive. And yeah, maybe should I say brutally? Yeah, I'm gonna say brutally. That's what I'm gonna say. That's just how it is. Uh, and I found this. This is a 180 gig, 128 gig drive. And I love the form factor. It's beautiful. It has like this uh, kind of bead blasted metallic finish uh, in silver. Maybe it looks a little champagne because of my lighting. And uh, you know, the USB drive on this side, the USB port, I should say, and then a cap covering the the lightning port it's not hinged it's just kind of a little clip kind of like a keychain so you just kind of pull it off directly here and then you get to the hutu that you do so well and uh lightning port there so it just plugs in you know one of the things that i don't like as much about it is that you're going to have this sticking out of the back end of your say iphone or ipad when you're when you're using it um you know and that kind of always scares me a little bit you know something knocking it nothing's going to be perfect on that but i do like how the sand disc wraps around the back but this was cheaper and so for 128 gigs can you get a lot of storage put a lot of videos and things like that on here now here's where i get to hmm, what i don't like as much about it so let me uh, just to show you i actually loaded a few movies on here a few videos in kind of different file formats just to test them out and i will say that the uh the 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 test went fine on those, you know, I mean, it does play everything. So I'm just going to pop it in here. And what it's going to want to do is to launch the iPlug Mate app, which is great. So we'll, we'll do that here. All right. So I have it plugged in here in my, this is my iPad mini. And what you can see is it's showing me um, the internal storage of my iPad as well as the external storage. So when you plug it in, it does find it. Now I'm going to go to videos here. I'm going to turn the volume down so we don't fringe on anyone's sensibilities or copyrights and i'm just going to play alaskan bush people here and a couple things that i really do like about it first of all you know it plays everything just fine and i put an mkv mp4 m4v on here avi plays all of them just fine now uh what you'll see here is the video looks great the audio is great too what i do like are the kind of the gesture controls so if i slide my finger across in the app it you know i can kind of decide how far ahead i'm going to jump which is kind of nice. I can just jump a little, I can jump a lot. So that's kind of cool. As well as you can just tap it and go to your controls down here and do your sliding around um, and jump around too. So that's pretty cool. Now, what I did, didn't did see is that uh, there's any way to control the speed on these things, right? So there was no way to control the speed. And unlike my the I, uh, expand drive, I could export the file to a different AV player that I have on my iPad and then play it at different speeds. So it would allow me to export that. I could not find any way to do it. Obviously, I could find a way to delete and things like that, but I could never, I, I never found anywhere where there's a pop up to allow me to export it to a current uh, player that's loaded on there. And as you can see, that was an MKV. So uh, AVI works just fine. This, this uh, movie was not. Um, in uh it's not the highest resolution but it was an avi that i had readily available so you, as you can see no problems there so that's that's all well and good now i will say that uh you can toggle oh the other thing i should mention here is you can kind of kind of toggle down here between the iplug mate and things that you have on your ipad obviously if you're plugging this in generally you want to to see your iplug mate uh files but i could I could see that, you know, maybe you want to use this app, you really like it and want to watch videos on it. I will tell you, though, that I've had some issues where I don't know what the deal is, if it's a little loose or whatever, but sometimes it thinks the drive is unplugged, and then this is what it does. Obviously, you don't see the external drive here, and then you obviously can't get to anything. I can get to the stuff on my com my iPad, but even when I was plugged in and I would pl play around with it a little while... Um, it would not find it, and so I'd have to pull out the drive and plug it back in, and then it would work again, okay? So I'm not, 
I'm not saying that's the end of the world or anything, but there were times when I was playing a video and then it stopped because it thought the drive was unplugged. So I'm not sure exactly what that is, uh, but you know, it, it did happen. So, and you know, I'm, I'm bringing it up because I paid for this sucker. So I'm not, I don't have to shill for it. Right. So anyway, uh, I think it's it's pretty good. Is it as polished as the SanDisk iXpand? No. Does it have as many features? Not in not in my uh, not in my experience on it. Uh, you can do backups. You can put music on it. You can you can put photos on it. The whole nine yards. So that's very similar. But it it is at a slightly smaller lower price point. So for 128 gigs, I think you get a better value here. But for a more polished experience, maybe a little better better form factor on the device itself. In my opinion, the, you know the SanDisk I expand is the is kind of the where it's at. And it, depending on what size you need, uh, the I expand is the only one that I've seen that goes up to 256 gigs. If you really got to go up that high, but this one is pretty nice. It does work. It's 128 gigs, and it's a beautiful little form factor. So if this one is going to meet your needs, I'll put a link to it in the description. Pick it up. Use it uh, with, uh, I don't know, great pleasure. Because you can carry a lot of stuff with 128 gigs. Uh, that, that's the honest truth. Peter Ron Band out.